Hi everyone and welcome back to Oz Workshop. Um, this is a continuation of the little video that we had on the corner unit. Uh, just to explain how the CD cabinet uh, was made. As you saw there in the beginning, that was just a picture of it completed. I didn't want to have to build a specialist jig uh, to do these slots. So what I've done is set up um, my stop uh, at the first cut. And then what I did was uh, cut uh, strips and blocks at 15 millimeter increments. That 15 millimeter allowed for the saw cut and left 11 meter, millimeter to slide a CD case in, which is 10 millimeter or nine and a half uh, millimeter. So it would slide. And so what, I, as you can see, all I'm doing is putting subsequent blocks, first a 15 mil strip, then 30 mil, 45, 60 etc right up until um, I get the middle uh, cut done uh, and then it was flipped over this is the first uh, piece I'm doing and, and it's a bit of a test um, in subsequent pieces both on the the top and the middle portions which of course cut both sides I would cut one end and then I would end I, I would flip the piece around and cut the subsequent slot on the other on the other end before going to the next size block, and because uh, obviously there's uh, 24 uh, trenches in each uh, piece on each side, so the middle pieces had 48 trenches, so it was easy. In the middle pieces, we we turned the, we cut them on each end, then we flipped the material over and cut it uh, and cut. And end. So there, I made four cuts with the one um, block, um, uh, separator block, uh, before going on to the next size. And uh, it they all turned out uh, pretty good. Um, and I found that it was a, a very accurate way of actually getting them uh, done. I could have done it by using the table saw fence, um, which is uh, quite accurate in itself. But quite frankly, trying to work out... Um, the increments in 15 millimetre um, because I started off with a, an uneven number to start off with um, it was too much for my eyes and, and uh, I found that this way was uh, far more accurate just to uh, cut these accurately cut the blocks once and therefore they would remain uh, uh, quite a good little uh, jig guide from then on there you are Once the cabinet was uh, constructed so that it slipped straight into the main cup cupboard, uh, obviously next were the dividers to uh, to separate all the CDs, uh, which they would slip in like that, and uh, just testing to make sure the CDs slip, slipped in, which it did very easily. This is a jig that uh, I made to cut these separators. Uh, obviously I wanted a, uh, a concave piece so that that wouldn't interfere with you know getting your CD out and there each of those are we're using three millimeter MDF um, so that that uh, gave you that that position to gave you the thickness to to grab the CD um, so the piece uh, having been cut to size was just slots into the jig so it wouldn't move around and uh, yeah using the router now you may notice um, uh, in Australia things don't go backwards necessarily um, I'm deliberately using the router um, not going the traditional way I'm going back against the, the cut uh, and that's so that the cutter wouldn't drag the piece out of the template um, by doing it that way the cutter didn't uh, pull against the material Next was to uh, clean up some burn marks, uh, just using a little drum sander in the drill press. Once everything was sanded up, then it was just a matter of putting uh, the finish on. And of course, uh, putting that on with a rag, making sure there's no drips, uh, then each piece could be slid into the cabinet 
uh, and to let it dry as well. And so that left us with the finished result, and uh, there it is. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope this has been of help. And uh, yeah, look, email me if you've got any questions. Thank you. Bye.